Madagasi ulat ke jela u tatha gata roy ulali benjingo e ke president ke CSWO ke kong Agnes Kashying barka Amita Sama ke bedang dan hapedeng ke jingsha Sumar Hani Grims ke jingle jingo jungulat ye ke kong Agnes barka Amita la senalang ne ke kurim jingu ringkat ke he ke koi ke khia bar ke district u menteri ramba ke jela u konrat ke sama nolor unong ilam ke liang persa u dr mukro sama ke menteri sarkar ke MLE U CM ke KHDC uba HS Sela bar ke MDC kelale benjingo e ke Kong Agnes bar ke Amita hak ke net singi baladam hak ke dunia keren jonglat hadi maladap jingo ya ke TK he ke CSWO sekala tai ke bor ulong bon sekren bar khot u menteri rangba ke jela ban pliu jumut hak bai dei bar ke nika kam it absolutely broke our heart the way Mrs Agnes Kashin was beaten up the dastardly attack I hope the police apprehend all the culprits and Mrs. Kashing and Mrs. Sangma. They are both extremely courageous ladies. That is why God is on their side and God is working through the doctors here. I am sure she will get well. I'll pray for her quick recovery. I'll talk to the chief minister about these things that the things that you mentioned but I won't make any public statement it is for the government to make a statement I as a governor I should not make any statement about this today I uh, one of the first things that I inquired is whether anybody has been arrested or not to have been arrested that is good news by interrogating them I'm sure the police will be able to get more leads Mrs. Amita Sangma is a lot better. She has, uh, what I understand from the doctors, is she is completely stable now. Uh, otherwise, uh, she is better. Mrs. Parshing uh, is also stable, but still, what I understand is that she is in a very delicate state still. And uh, she will need a lot of lot longer stay in the hospital because her wounds are very serious wounds. Uh, even Mrs. Amita Shangma had a bit of her finger cut off by the assailants. Uh, but the doctors here are doing a wonderful job. In fact, the her uh, family took a very correct decision in bringing her here rather than taking her to Guwahati. Because taking her to Guwahati would have caused a lot of loss of time and strain. This has been much better. It is the Supreme Court which has put an embargo on mining. Uh, these are this is not a simple matter. If it is a, by order of a Supreme Court, then uh, approach will have to be made to the Supreme Court to get that order vacated to start mining. What I understand is that the livelihood of a lot of people are involved also in this thing. But at the same time, no one can be allowed to take the law in her hand, his or her hands, which is what has happened. And this is quite a different matter from uh, the mining itself. This attack on Mrs. Kashi and Mrs. Sangma is a different matter altogether from the resumption of the mining. This we'll have to handle as a law and order problem and uh, necessary action will have to be taken by the police. How about you can do a part about the doctor Jankani Grims in the case of the director Prof. Dr. D.M. Thapa Long Bakumba Long Kakong Agnes Kala Nang Khamyo Obor the doctor Gani Ghospital Kila Ala Wan Prankandia Yak Intensive Critical Care Unit Shia Intensive Care Unit La Angru baka Amita sama ke balang ke perlok jeng kaung Agnes ke lanang kamiok bor ke banang mi kisngi. Ki bipat ki balale ben jingo e ke kaung Agnes bar ke Amita sama mentar kisngi. Ki kentup yu ba AR Mautho bar IPS balong DIG nang tau di sama balong SP infiltration ba Malcolm Tereng balong Nohikai u temen basan ke Lingkhoi u Reverend Pastor Robert Canwell ba B thank you rang ba Shinong Kelaban ba ki khat ke ba Shinong. Ha ke bipat ke liang la ong ba ki bor bar dei Kilaan ang penklan yang kilaat ay jingada hani grims. Bagi kejeng pendek yang ke CCTV hagi bentar berkongsan jangka ni ke hostel kalaya cekmat. We made them 
uh, they restored the blood pressure first and they made that the these people respiration was a problem with the carsia so she was ventilated in the icu and for 6 days she remained on ventilator after 6 days she restored the consciousness and the after the restoration of consciousness the, the in the next uh, one or two days we decided that uh, she should be taken off of the ventilators now she has been off the ventilator for last two days and she is in a position to even to talk and the she is accepting the food she is uh, taking the food and the we are going to shift her out of the this uh, the intensive care unit so the this is how the situation is but she has a lot of injuries in the the head area there are injuries inside the brain there are injuries in the this uh, fracture of the arm and there is a fracture in ribs. the ribs so the they will take some time to heal so another probably uh, the uh, two weeks or so probably she should recover and she should be able to go back to her home and the she can follow up with us